Okay, so how did, what, what happened? Yes, this just happened today? It happened yesterday, yesterday yes. night. He was fine the day before and then I came home from work in the evening and um, thought he had ran off so I went down looking down the street for him. Came back home and noticed that he was in a bush and he wasn't moving. He was exactly like he is right now, kind of tilted to the left sideways. Um, I tried to get him to get up. I checked his body to see if he had been bitten or something because um, we live out in the woods. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't get him in the house, struggled getting him in the house. And then um, last night he didn't get up at all. So I kind of figured he was in pain. I gave him a pain uh, medicine, waited till the morning. Did you give him an aspirin? Or? I gave him Rimadol. Oh, okay. Rimadol. Uh -huh. um, so I gave him one of those. And then this morning got up early because I could hear him whining. Um, tried to get him up and he would not move. I noticed his body is leaning leftwards, so even when he tries to get up, his whole body is like leaning left. And um, it wasn't until right now that I found out that he's had a stroke. So if the poor little dogs, when they have a stroke, um, they, they used to call it old dog vestibular syndrome, and their eyes twitch like that. And, and so if your dog goes to one side and can't walk, and it's very um, lopsided, you can check the eyes to see if it's they're twitching. And a lot of times that can be due to an inner ear um, inflammation, middle ear, which causes them to lose their balance or a stroke. And most commonly now it's just due to a stroke. When a dog has a stroke, sometimes um, they'll lose their balance and they'll become lost and um, they'll, they'll tilt their head to one side and their eyes will twitch. Um, if the stroke is mild or moderate, they often will recover in several weeks' time. Um, so they just need support because they need a smooth surface to walk, or a rough surface to walk on, because they fall on smooth surfaces. And you have to make sure that water and food is easily available in a place where they can get to it. Um, because they can't navigate stairs as much anymore and go up and down things like they used to. So sometimes we'll take some blood and we'll check the internal organs and see if they're all okay. And then we'll give him some time and see if, uh, if, if he improves with time and see if he can start to walk and regain his balance. Sometimes I use cortisone uh, in, the, in the beginning. It doesn't show, it doesn't always help, but I feel like it makes him feel better and makes him want to eat a little more. So I use a of cortisone to help out with the inflammation of the stroke. Thanks for watching. So you can tell he just is so, so unsure about where he is. But he's wagging and he's trying. What's his name again? Cyrus. 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 Hi, sweetie. You're staying low. You're hunkered down. And of course, this floor is not easy to walk on. But you can tell the real uh, lack of balance. Well, Cyrus, I hope you get better, big boy. Poor Cyrus had a stroke, or what we used to call old dog vestibular syndrome, which is common in older large breed dogs and sometimes smaller breeds. The severity can range from just mild a head tilt and a little bit of off balance to really can't move and they go down and they can be critically ill. Other things that this can be are the ears can be inflamed and the dog can lose his balance due to an ear infection or in rare cases uh, actually a dog can have a brain infection or tumor. So you probably ought to get your dog checked out if you see any of these signs. They'll check in the ears and make sure they're okay. But many times these are strokes and do respond to the tincture of time and supportive care that I mentioned. And if you get a chance, go to my website Dog Dish Diet or Amazon.com and check out that I now have a Kindle version of my book Dog Dish Diet that's now in its second edition printing. I've updated some sections of the book in the ebook, and the second edition of the paper book will be out soon. So have a great day and enjoy the changing of the seasons. Thanks for watching.